Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number 35 where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now yesterday I delivered a few workshops at a maths conference in York and also on the bill was Steve Lomax who is the co-creator along with Matthew Nixon of the absolutely fantastic Kangaroo Maths website. Now I was fortunate enough to be able to watch Steve in action yesterday and it really brought it home to me just how much amazing stuff there is on Kangaroo Maths and quite a few of the delegates seemed equally awestruck and uh, their drawers were on the floor because they, whilst they'd heard of the website they weren't quite aware of just the wealth of amazing free resources on there. So I felt it was only my duty to record a WebWiz video on Kangaroo Maths just to try and show you some of the amazing things that are on there. So let's have a look. So if we Google Kangaroo Maths, then that takes you straight to the website here. Now the first thing to say is that there's two main sections of Kangaroo Maths. There's Kenny's Pouch, which contains a load of free stuff, and then there's Bring on the Maths. Now Bring on the Maths is a paid for section of the site, however there is a load of really high quality free samples on there that are certainly worth looking at and using in the classroom. So I thought we'd take start our tour there. So if I give uh, Bring on the Maths a click, and I'm just going to dive straight into this because the best way to explain what they are is to have a look at them. So if I just go for something like key, uh, key stage 3 samples and this one here, calculating areas. Now this is really nice. You uh, just project that onto the uh, interactive whiteboard or you can do a screenshot and then um, print it out as a worksheet. And students are challenged to find uh, shapes which have areas of 36 centimeters squared. Now what I love about all the Bring on the Maths activities is they really challenge students' misconceptions. Look at this first one. That triangle, has it got an area of 36? Well, how do you work out areas? You just multiply every number in sight. Six times two is 12 times three is 36. Yeah, that sounds good. But no, it's not right. And it really does emphasize the key misconceptions. Uh, look at that one. 12 times 6, 72. That, is that 36? Oh, yeah. And then you have to halve it because it's a triangle. Now, that's right. And then there's other good key misconceptions. Like, for example, now, where did I see it? That one down here. That's looking good. 12 times 6 is 72. Halve it is 36. But, of course, that's your slanted height. So, that doesn't work. And for an added bonus, once students figure out all the correct ones, they even get to play a little game of hanging man because that uh, those green letters will form a keyword so absolutely fantastic uh, bring on the math activities I'll just very very quickly show you one other one before I get uh, before we take a trip into Kenny's pouch and um, this one here Steve showed this yesterday it's a really really good one a student must subtract a blue fraction from a black fraction to get a red fraction now that's a really really challenging activity it's not immediately obvious how to how to start that activity and what strategy should be used so it makes it a great group work activity for a higher GCSE class. So please take some time to uh, investigate these samples. There's some A-level ones, there's some Year 7 ones. It really is a fantastic uh, package there. So that's uh, Bring on the Maths, but now let's enter Kenny's Pouch and take a nose dive into here. So Kenny's Pouch is absolutely rammed full of quality free materials. I'm not going to look at it all because it would take me all day. I'm just going to pick out a couple of my favourite bits of it. So the first is the assessment section. And if I click on the key stage 2, 3 assessment, these are the convinced worksheets. Now, I use these for homeworks for my students um, because they give, give my students something a bit extra. It's not just like 10 ticks where they've got hundreds of examples. What uh, 10 ticks certainly has a place, but for homeworks, I want to stretch my students and really test their understanding. And these convinced worksheets do that, I feel. So they're all leveled. Uh, they cover pretty much all the topics. And if I just uh, pick out one of them, for example, let's go for something like uh, understanding proportionality and the nice PDF sheets like this but look at the questions it's not just hundreds of examples it's all about explain your answer can you convince me this is right can you convince me that this is the wrong method and then it's quite nice at the end because students get to um, self-assess and they form a really nice series of worksheets um, that my students like to keep and uh, I can use to track their progress so th they they are certainly worth a look at and there is a key study key stage four version of, uh, sorry about that and also some a-level worksheets as well and the final thing i wanted to look at 
is the uh, maths to infinity thing. Now these are really, really good. They are Excel uh, worksheets, interactive. Uh, you can down, uh, you click on a zip file to download everything all in one. I've downloaded the uh, directed number one just to show you what it's like. Now the first thing is that the homepage kind of shows you the progression through the, through the topic, which is really useful, especially if you've got teachers who haven't taught it before, just to show the kind of order that you might want to do things for directed numbers. But if I just show you how one of these works, um, really, really nice. Uh, you just get basically, uh, well, an infinite amount of examples. So if you click on new question, and sorry, I'll just hide that answer. You can go through as many questions as you want. So these could be just little quick fire starters on the board, show the answer, new question, and, and so on. But how about this for a little twist? This is what Steve showed yesterday. If you uh, take a little trip up to clip art here, and I'm just gonna put myself a little bit of clip art in there, very fetching little uh, sun pattern. And if I just ex make this a little bit bigger, then what I can actually do is I can actually cover up the question and I can show an answer and I can say, okay, what do we think the question is? And we can play a game of mathematical pointless, if you're familiar with the BBC TV show, where students have to try and come up with the most interesting, unique, if possible, answer that creates, sorry, question that creates an answer of minus seven. And that just brings, again, another richness and an, another exciting activity into the classroom. So if you have some time on your hands and you will need a lot of time take a look inside kenny's pouch you're probably familiar with the schemes of work that are on there and um, but have a look at the wealth of resources there's autograph resources there's a-level resources there's puzzles there's everything it's a fantastic website um, and it's all for free and i'll also like to give a final little shout out those of you who are on twitter you may well be following myself at, at tes maths or at mr barton math but give at kenny's counts um, a little look as well because kenny tweets an interesting fact about each day of the year and they really are worth uh, checking out so that's at kenny counts and i'll be back with a fresh webwiz video next week bye for now